Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Are you ready for another sneak peek? Now, I have no idea. I hope I can fix it in post-production, but for some reason, my face just looks very pink, very red in the screen. Even my hands look pretty pink when I look at the screen. Uh, I know I'm hot for some reason, no idea. Maybe it's having a nice cuppa in my overpriced La Crusade. We are talking about upcoming feature that is currently in development called the flip box. And many people are going to be flipping for this one because you've seen it everywhere on the Internet. You've seen it in other builders and you've been praying for it for so long that it should be coming to Brizzy. Your prayers have been answered. I've created a page already here with three columns. And the reason why I'm going for three columns is that you hardly ever have this massive flip box that flips the entire page. You usually have cards. That's where the idea come in a card or an info box, and then it flips. But what is really exciting about this flip box or flip element within Brizzy is that it's done the Brizzy way. Let's see what that means. It is an element, so I'll bring it into this container. And where am I going to find this one? Flip box, flip there. Click and drag and I'll drop it in the first column. And from the very beginning, it looks very underwhelming, almost like an icon box. So exactly what's going on here. Let's dive in deeper, Sally. The first thing you'll notice is that we have this little dotted box line border and then you have the options there. That's very important because that's where everything happens. That is flip box. What is it called? Is it flip box? Let's see. Flip box. It's a flip box. I can use that term. We have a few options here. So this is your reverse. This is the front. And then if I click on it, this is when you will be doing edits in the back. And then let's see anything on the settings. Yeah, you have content, you have height, custom, love that. And then your settings for your flip box will appear here. So you have a trigger when you hover over it. So let's see. OK, it's going to happen on the front end, not on this side. A trigger when you hover over it or when you click on it, your transition. Very nice. You have flip, slide, push, zoom in and fade. Very nice. And then duration. How quickly this transition. Oh, not duration. Direction. I stand corrected. This is to which side it will be flipping. Nice. So this will flip to the left, to the right, or we can flip it up or down. Let's see. I'll have to go and do that on the front end. Let me first go do that. Otherwise, we'll be sitting here in anticipation. Update and then go and preview this one. And while we are waiting for that preview to load, want to drop this disclaimer again that remember, this is a work in progress. There are some bugs and issues that may pop up from nowhere. I'm not in charge of that. It will be ironed out by the release and the release is in the future. Not tomorrow, not next weekend. Think a few weeks to a few months. And before the release, of course, there will be a beta version released. And if you're interested in doing some beta testing and checking out all the new fancy stuff that comes in pre previews and release candidates, then you can sign up. There's a link in the description below and become a beta tester if you have the time. So, aha, you see, now I just hover over it and it flips up. That is what that one is all about. And then let's just go and do a fade because I love a good fade, don't you? And the speed is 500 milliseconds, which is half a second. Let's save it. Control S, Command S, go to the front, reload our page. And then let's see how that works. Oh, me so like it so much. Right, let's go back and see how you actually bring content into it. Now, this is our front and you're going to work in this exactly the way you would work in any other container element within Brizzy. And that is that you're going to bring in elements. You're going to style them out. You have all the features for that. Let's delete this. We bring in an image and you can build up magnificent little features. And this makes me think I'm curious whether this will be part of a post. Hmm. Because if you can have like flip boxes for your posts, that would also be very nice. You do have dynamic content there if we are going to work with things like that. Let's bring in that image, update. And then this is going to be some paragraph 
and we can reduce this to 16, make it a little bit lighter, and reduce the line height. Good. Where's my image? What happened to my image? Let's try it again. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong one. And the reason is because this boom on of the microphone is right in front of where the select button is. So I keep pressing update every time I want to select something. So we have a flip box. Let's make the heading also bigger. Heading one. Yep, too big. And then let's go back, reduce it. Fancy. Let's see about padding because these things are very important to all of us. There is our padding. We can drag a little bit more padding. I'll reduce the heading now. Now, the position, our corners. Ooh, okay. Let's bring in some corners there. I think Sally Bob will be very happy about that one. And just notice up here, transform and advanced. Well, we know advanced, but transform. Ooh, transform. Ooh, what is transform? Ooh, talk about that in a future sneak peek. Let's go back here because my heading is way too big. And now that we've done all of this, what's very important is that you need to also go for the back. And that we do here with the settings. This is our reverse. And then we can style it out here. I'll just change it a little bit in terms of the text. And we have our call to action here. I don't like that text white. Good. And I also want to add padding because it just gives a little bit more structure. Alrighty, good. And then we switch back to the front. And what I'll do even for the back, I think we need to also change the background. Let's do that. We can even bring it down a little bit. Ah, oh, that doesn't look half bad. Not sure if it looks half good, but interesting. It's workable. And let's flip it back to the front. And I think we're also going to call it a push. And the push we're going to do, is that to the right or to the left? Let's see if which one it's going to be. Control S, Command S. Let's go to the front and refresh. And this green here at the bottom, I'm not sure why my WordPress is doing it. Something, I believe it's something on Windows 11, something on my computer. I still need to figure that one out. Ooh, me likey so much. And of course, in this case, because it's not a fade, the transparency doesn't really matter. And the transparency is going to be the background of your block if you have something in that. Really, really nice. Anything else that we can explore here? We have the speed. We looked at hover. We have click. We had the different transitions. Slide, zoom in. Let's just try another one. Zoom out. While we are here, why not? And refresh this one in the front. And what was that? Zoom out? Zoom in? Never sure. Really nicely done. And you can just imagine the fact that you can bring in any of these elements within the flip box. It's just really groovy. You can bring in a countdown. You can bring in, a, of course, you can bring in any of those elements. This is truly done the Brizzy way. And with this, just a styling tip again, remember, when you are going to build out these cards, it's important that you build out one. And then once you have everything done, you have your styling, you also have looked at responsiveness. Then you go to your column and you duplicate that. And you delete these columns, right click and delete. And now you can go ahead and make changes to them. And interestingly enough, Something I did with this column. Let me see if I duplicate it again and I remove this one. Delete. Ah, not sure what I pressed there, but I messed it up somehow. I just want to change the color for this one and then this one. Okay, that's not good contrast, but I just want to change it so we have a little bit of a background to work with. So the question what about responsiveness? Let's just dive right into what is this manage manage ha <laughs> ha i'm pretty sure that's also a future sneak peek called breakpoints baby <laughs> yes no we're not gonna go there focus jp we go back to mobile now the only problem i have with a flip box and any kind of animation basically is that it is pretty much irrelevant when it comes to a mobile device because people won't know that it is a flip box. They won't know that it can be interacted with. There is no hover state. In the future, I'm pretty sure when you have a finger and it 
the screen just senses your finger it's going to hover i'm pretty sure that's the future if not already there but this is where you have to understand that the flip box is absolutely stunning it's great magnificent for a desktop but from a tablet to a mobile it has really very limited application let me just have a look if i go here to the settings of the flip box and let's select this one and then the flip box and you see nothing special is going to get in there to give you maybe the background as a second image to appear there so i've shown you actually the breakpoints that's a work in progress too and in the future when that comes nearer to completion of course i'll show you that i'm very excited about that one too the flip box absolutely stunning great Remember to sign up for beta testing if you're ever so inclined to do some testing when you have the time by following the link in the description below for more sneak peeks and other interesting videos and sometimes just a nice tutorial here and there. Remember to subscribe to YouTube and I'm starting to stumble over my words. No idea why. I need my very expensive La Creuse mug and my coffee. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.